007 and today I'm doing a theme review on a theme that I actually posted a picture of on Facebook which is this one right here and it got a lot of buzz and the people were uh, liking it and asking for a tut tutorial on it so I decided to do a video on it I'm in order for this uh, desktop customization to work you're gonna need a couple different things running and uh, a couple different programs running um, so first we'll, we'll get those running so in here guys in the previous instructions etc you guys can see that we have uh, different how it looks so we have different colors and you guys can see that it really can go in any color and it looks good in all of them so once you have uh, once you look at a couple colors guys go to the extras folder and go to the tools folder and all these things here you'll have to have running so uh, go to the bottom one which is the, the Moo installer and uh, open it up and run it and then install the theme or sorry, install the uh, program and then once you run it once you have that you'll have it running and then open it up there and let's say the configuration is available from the task group. so go there guys and then you can choose how and have it start on system boot guys and how um, transparent you want the, tra the menu so Right now it's at 50, which or so that means it's basically normal. If you turn on, you guys can see that it comes a little effectish. And now you can go and you can choose how. If you go to zero, it's a uh, zero transparency. I like 50 myself. All right, so it doesn't look good right now, guys. But it trust me, once you apply the theme, it looks much better. And um, like I forgot to mention, for all my videos, you have to have uh, your computer patch for third-party themes. So if it isn't already, just click on the link, click on the thing here, and uh, and uh, follow the tutorial, which is available right there. Or sorry, open up which one is yours, and then um, just hit apply. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below to uh, learn how to do that. Next thing, guys, we're gonna have to have Theme Resource Changer installed. So, um, if you know how to do this, follow the tutorial um, guide right there, and it'll tell you how to run it and which one to choose and how to install it. Next thing, you're gonna have to have a uh, Black Black Enhanced open. So, open that up. Oh, wrong one. It'll go there. Go to the options. It'll have a couple iron in there. Go to Startup, hit Enable, and then click Save. And this will give you a transparent effect on your windows so I will show you that you guys see that it's now see-through uh, it doesn't look good at all with uh, the normal but trust me once you get through it it will look much better last thing but not least guys is to apply the TBS which is a taskbar shadow so open that up you guys can see it gives it a shadow right there now that this is completely optional again but uh, I suggest running it Alright, so um, again guys, it kind of makes your PC look pretty crappy at the moment, but uh, once you apply the theme, trust me, it all works out really well. So go to your favorite theme installer, or do it the manual way. If you're going to do it the manual way, just skip my uh, skip about 30 seconds of the video. So go to install guys, give it a name. Nice thing I like about this theme, this theme guys is it complements any background. Um, it makes any background look nice. So, whether or not you have a uh, picture of your family or an abstract background, it makes it look good. This theme comes with a theme folder and a time date folder. Um, the reason we installed Theme Resource Changer is because the theme, if you go into there, you guys can see that it actually applies all of them manually, which is, or on Mac, sorry, which is much easier. Oh, wrong one. And then go 64 bit and choose your system 32 and click that. Click install and then we, there we go. So I'll, I will uh, apply the theme and show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So click apply or go personalize and click it in that way, and we will see what it looks like. Because of theme resource changer, you guys can see that we now have our custom start orb, and you guys can see that we have finally applied our theme. So. You guys can see that giving it the shadow here looks pretty cool. The start menu with the with the 50% transparency effect makes it look really slick. I like the uh, how it kind of blends with the background. Again, guys, it makes any background look good. So you guys can see through here we have the custom uh, explorer. 
I think it looks pretty sick. Um, and that's about it, guys. I will give you a little run through. So we have the custom clock if you so choose to enable it. If you uh, had to do it manually, what you'll have to do is you'll have to follow his instructions that he he has included, which you guys can find if you go to uh, instructions here, go there. He gives you the manual ways of doing it. Um, you can follow those if you uh, have a hard time with my video. All right, so um, one last thing, guys. I'll, I will show you a couple different backgrounds and see how they uh, go with the thing here. So here we have a blue one, and that's pretty sick, I think. Um, here's here's my favorite one. This one it was, I think goes the best with this theme. You guys can see it's a galaxy transparent one. And with the start menu up, it looks very uh, elegant and glassy. I think it looks pretty sick myself. Um, like the picture that he shows, you can change the color of this, which is very cool. By going to the Windows Color in the Personalization menu, by doing this right here, you guys can see that it really changes it and gives it more of a uh, brickier look. You, by going to the uh, menu Transparency, you can change it so that it uh, has a full brick. Again, you can go to Pink and go Tense, or you can pull down to like the medium range where it's like a mixture, or pull down to the end where it's like a very soft pink. You can give it a brown effect and pull it hard, or soft. Same with red, blue, any color. So personally, I like the uh, grayish one and then pulling down all the way so it has more of a transparent effect. So that's what it for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you do, please like, favorite, and subscribe for some more awesome desktop customization tutorials. And uh, follow my Fixit page and my Twitter account so you guys can see pictures of my upcoming uh, desktop customization videos. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.